is you. That's your style. That's what you want. You want to be the ladies' man, but you can't listen to the ladies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Right. Okay, that's the only way to do it. Mm -hmm. Are we here? Can you hear me, Drew Taylor? No, Mr. Powers, can you please sing for me? Talk to me. Say something. They need to hear your beautiful voice. Hello. Nice. It's good to be here. Nice. It's What's your sign? You're going to be Leo. Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Fruit. Fruit? Fruit. Fruit. Oh, fruit. oh you get to Pineapples, uh, cantaloupes, uh, stuff like that. Grapes. Healthy. Your skin is very clean. Right, thank you. Yeah. You keep yourself in shape. Well, I, I you know, I, I try to do the right thing. You know, I've been you doing the wrong thing for most of my life. Uh huh. So I'm trying this now. But, uh...
Nice, beautiful. We can get, yeah, beautiful. Now this is it. <laughs> We're going live. I can't believe it. Once again, today is what? Friday, March the 11th. Yes, it is. Oh my God, time goes so fast. I'm here, I'm back. I was in Costa Rica for two weeks. I went really? to see my mom. Great. Okay, uh, my dad, my nephews, my brother. Mm -hmm. But, you know, and I got a little tan, uh, you can see. Yeah, you look great. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. We have Mr. Michael Powers in the house. Can I call you Mr., right? Yeah, sure. Mr. Michael Powers, a very extremely talented musician, a blue artist, a blue legend. <laughs> Right? Blues is my thing. Blues is your thing. I was hearing you in the website. I was checking your name everywhere. Mm -hmm. And your voice is so raw. Mm -hmm. And your style, I'm, I'm telling you, was very, like, uh, deep and, like, very mysterious. I don't know much about blues, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like, I just want to say to Ginger, it's kind of hard for me, like, because I don't know much about it. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering how you make that connection with people who don't know much about blues, like myself. But uh, I guess that's not a good question to start mm. with. I mean, it's, it's well, incredible, right? It's very easy. The blues had a baby. They called it rock and roll. Now, you know about rock and roll. Oh, yeah. So you know about blues. I can, I can shake my hips. <laughs> you, I, can, I, can, I can dance. I know. I bet you can. All right? I have the rhythm. I have the energy. Yeah, yeah, well, let's talk about, about your talent, sir. Um, mm. Growing up, the love of the guitar. You learned mm. about yourself, right? Yes. Yeah. Your mama. Well, my mother, uh, it's a funny story. My mother... Uh, was tired of me playing her broom. I'd walk around playing her broom, like, you know? Uh -huh. And the straw would be all over, so she'd get really mad at me. So so we didn't have really much money in those days, so she, we had this thing called a Spiegel catalog. You remember those? The they Spiegel would, they, catalog? The Spiegel catalog, they would come out, like, every season. Okay. You know, winter, fall, spring. So it had it was like a shopping thing it, it was like the Sears Roebuck catalog okay but only was called Spiegel and they would give you stamps and you would fill the book up so now if you filled up three books you could get a gift out of the catalog okay. like clothes a toaster so oh. she got me a guitar out of the out of the uh, the Spiegel catalog and uh, the case was the amplifier. The guitar fit in the case. It was real, very. It was called a K, K A Y. Okay. And uh, I never played it though. <laughs> I always played the broom. Every time a song would come on the radio, you would grab the broom. I wouldn't pick the guitar up. I pick up the broom. Uh huh. You know? Like the, Forrest Gump. The the guitar would sit on my bed with all my army soldiers. That was uh -huh. their boat. Nice. You know? Beautiful. <laughs> So you were good at it. You have a talent. It was right from the beginning, right? Well, what hap I had an ear. What, what happened was my mother would have these parties because I lived on like a, a military oceanal terminal. And all these sailors would come. My father was a, a merchant seaman. Uh -huh. So all these his, you know, people from his ship, they would come over. They would drink and party. And my job was to play the records. And um, that would keep me off the street with the gangs, you know. If, I, if the record cut off, my mother would be would know I wasn't there, and it would, I, I'd be, you know, head cut off. Uh -huh. So anyway, like, <laughs> this sailor came over, and he went to the bathroom, but he didn't go in the bathroom. He went in my room, he saw the guitar. So he, he tuned it up, cool. and he's back there playing it. And I heard, I heard this stuff coming out of the room, and I went back there, and it was like, oh, so that's what it does, you know? It's magic. It was magic. It so was magic. he's playing country western, then, you know, like he's playing, uh, I remember the, f the song, Red River Valley. That was like the first song I ever learned, you know? And uh, when he left, my mother says uh, she heard, she thought he was still back there. It was me. You know, I was playing it. You know, I just, I kept watching him. And, and first of all, it was open tuning guitar, the way he tuned it. So, you strum it, it was already playing a, a, a chord, you know? Uh -huh. And it was, it was easy, so. And once I, once I saw him do that, then I never left the room. You know, I never wanted to go outside and play. I, that after became school, your obsession. It became my thing. Uh-huh, your life. You know, I put the, I come home, do all my chores. I take the, uh, throw my brothers out of there. I take the, uh, the bureau with all, all the clothes <laughs> and push it against the door and I had my little record player with the 45s, uh -huh. you know, I had my guitar and that was it. And I had a mirror and I'd stand in the mirror and, and pantomime, you know. Nice, beautiful. But you, I guess the musicians, like actors or writers, mm -hmm. they 
we tend to isolate ourselves a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like growing up. That well, you want to learn that your connection. You want to learn your craft. You want right. to, you know, you want to be with your your mistress or whatever. You know? Yes. You yes. want to learn what it, you know, the connection. Right. And where is it going to take me? Or, or I, well, you really, you know, back in those days, I didn't think about being famous or anything like that, or making money. I just wanted to play the guitar, yeah. you know, and play it right. And play it right. Mm -hmm. How you play it right? Well, you know, play it well. Play it, play it. I'm a beginner. So that people can hear it and not run out of the room, you know. Right. But how you grab the audience? How you grab them, Mr. Power? You know. Take well. I've been playing since 1957, so... You can play with your eyes closed? Yeah. yeah oh, you're yeah. bragging now. No. You can do it. No, I do that. <laughs> That's the way I play. That's the way you play, with your yeah, eyes closed? got to go deep. <laughs> and, you, and do you get lost when you're there? No. When I'm Never? Here, when, I, when, I, when, I go, when I go to my thing, when I go to my zone, I'm, you're locked I'm in. healed. I have no pains, no worries. The world's a better place, it you is. know, and the music becomes all, the, all that I see. Yes. Grass, you know. I love the definition about the blues and how the blues came from slavery. Oh, Can we talk about that? Everybody got the blues. It. You don't even have to be rich. You don't have to be poor. You don't have to be old. You can be a baby, baby, like trying to get his milk. You know, he's screaming. He got blues, you know, and we all have blues, uh -huh. you know, and the blues also is a good man feeling bad. Right. Interesting. It's a state of mind. Somebody said it's like, like yeah. blues is a state of mind. Right, right. Right? Yeah, yeah. The sound, the sound. Now, let me ask you, when you are doing about yourself, when you work the songs, mm -hmm. when you're practicing, like how does it take, like how much time does it take for you to get ready for a show? Because you perform every Monday and Fridays, right? Yeah. So yeah. you're doing it every single week. Yeah. So, do you rehearse between those two days, or you don't? Do you uh, like to practice every day? I mean, how to, does it well, work to for me, you? Well, to, to me, the rehearsal is playing. Right. You know, so uh, I don't like to have no set. You know, I, I'd like to go up there and play what I feel that day. Right. You know, but we have a, a blueprint that we, we travel around so that we have a beginning and we have an ending so we can all come out. You know, I started, they know where to go, and uh -huh. they go with me. Okay. You know, but there's no, there's no rehearsals. I mean, there's rehearsals when you got, you know, you're writing a record or, or you know, you're doing something that, you know, uh, has to do with other people. Right. You know, the band has been together for forever, so. Right. You know, there's, there's nothing we don't know about each other. Right, You know, right. and we want to... And you know, <clears throat> I feel that if you can re you can over rehearse sometimes. You yeah, know? sometimes you. And then it gets to be alone. boring, and uh, I never do the same song the same way. Never. No, I couldn't. You know. Yeah. Now, in terms of like your passion for blue artists, for blue singers, who do you like? Oh well, it's, I uh, like them all, but uh, my f the cats that fire me up are like uh, Lightning Hopkins, uh -huh. Sonny Boy Williamson. But Muddy Waters, Muddy Waters, and, and then Hendrix. So oh. it's like Muddy to Hendrix. That I think Hendrix is a genius. That that rainbow. Yes, you know? but you like the Beatles too. I, I love the Beatles. Let me tell you, I I grew up on British blues. So I grew up on the Yardbirds. Now it's so funny that the Yardbirds, out of that band, came the three great guitar woos. You know. Eric Clapton was the first one. Yes. And then there was uh, uh, Jeff Beck, you know, and then there was Jimmy Page who started uh, Led Zeppelin and so on, you know. The Yardbirds threw out all kind of great sounds. I mean, they had Cream uh -huh. from Clapton, uh, Jeff Beck, where he's still playing, uh -huh. and he still looks the same, like, you know. You know, that's why I say music is very healing. It's it very is. Music. And I read that you like to read the Bible in your spare time. That's my thing, yep. That's my thing. You look very in peace with yourself. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a therapist. Mm. Okay? <laughs> but you look very much in peace with yourself. You're, you're yeah. a happy man. I have joy. Y yes. God's joy. Yes. And besides the Bible, what, what kind of books do you like to read? Do you like to read much? Do you lo love to go to the movies? I like, I like to read about uh, the history of music. 
you know, okay. where it came from and mm -hmm. the old dudes, you know, uh -huh. the, the old, I like, what I really like, I like watching the old black and white movies. Me too. You know? Oh, me too. Baby. Me too. And the silent movies are fascinating they too are to watch, They're right? Great. And I'm the so cartoons. Oh, I love cartoons. The, like, do you listen to the music of the old Popeye cartoons? It's a lot of big bands. Yeah, Popeye, you know, yeah. And, and, and Betty Boops, uh -huh. you know, because it was made by the same artist, uh -huh. Max Fleischer. You know? Well, I, I'm more, a little more modern. I love Ratatouille. Okay. Did it throw you off a little okay. bit? Uh, no, I no? mean, I, I got the cartoon channels and Boom I, and all that stuff. I enjoy them so much, it's great. right? There's great, there's great art. It's great art out there. Yes. I love Sponge, you know, he's... he's that's a beautiful thing. That's a very universal kind of uh, SpongeBob. He's a yeah. very universal character. Yes. You know, and, he, uh, and he's always f f positive. Yes. You know, I like positive things. Me too. You know? Well, we can go down a little bit, you know, when yeah. we do what we do. Well, you know me, I like the Wolfman also. And yes. I like those universals, Frankensteins, and right, right. There's some great art there too. Your but it's a balance. It's yes, it's a balance. No, but your art, your craft, mm. how. Does it, how do you make that mental connection when you are creating? Um, in terms of like, because you've done it for such a long time, mm -hmm. right? Forever. This is your life, forever. Yeah. So there's ever any, do you stumble? Uh, you what do you mean stumble? In Mid terms of like, when, when, let's say when you're working, when you're improvising, when uh -huh. you're creating something new. Yeah, yeah. What happens to you? Do you allow yourself well, I, 100% I, to... I take my time. You and, take your time, okay. And I keep working on it until I'm happy that it becomes something like, you know, like when you have coal, if you, you, you let it process, it becomes a diamond, but then the diamond has to be worked on until uh -huh. it becomes a real gem, you know what I mean? So right. it's the same kind of, you know, formula for me. You know, I like to... And then, you know, if I write something or I'm working on an idea, if it's on tape, I let it go. And I don't listen to it for like a month or so. Is that and right? And I come back when it's out of my head. With, with fresh the, ideas. The best things that happen to me happen in 20 minutes. What do you if, mean? If I write a, if I, some of the best songs I ever wrote happened in 20 minutes. Okay. Those are the things that were meant to be, you know. Right. I don't try to sit down and write a song. I you sit down and play, but I don't try to make a, a song because I, that, you know, it don't it doesn't it doesn't come from someplace. Right. It's, try, it's me trying to make something. I like to get the vibe. Right. The connection. Call the frequency. The frequency. Yeah. I love that. The connection. The frequency. Yeah, right. Now, in terms of music, do you what kind of music do you like from nowadays? In terms of let's say rap. Oh uh, my my. Are you uh, into rap? I'm into it, uh, all of it. All I, of it. I, Hip hop. This station, FUV, that I, 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 I listen to 24-8 is uh, it's like the greatest station on the radio now because they play, like I said, from Beethoven to, right. to, to Hendrix to the Beatles, country, you know, it's roots rock. Right. You know, so the blues, it's everything. And you get educated in the history of music because they tell you what they're playing and who's playing on it. And they have live shows with these, some of these legends from the old days that come on and they do a thing. That I, for, I forgot what it's called. Uh, it comes on, comes on Sundays. It's called American Heritage or something like that. But this, sta uh, this station is, is excellent. I mean, when I went to school back in the day... <laughs> You, you know, look very young to back me. In the day. Well, I'm going back to the 50s. Mr. Powers, you look very young to me, and your skin is very fresh and very clean. Okay. But, but we had a class of music. They okay. don't have that anymore. No. In this grammar school. They didn't have budget for, you know, for some reason. They had to we make didn't have budget no budget. For music. We didn't have no budget in, in grammar school. It was the same teacher that taught all this. English history, science that taught the music. Right. You know, and then on Friday we had show and tell. We'd bring in something that we liked and she would talk about it. We, you know, when I brought in my Yardbird record, she took it and flung it like a Frisbee, but, <laughs> you know, that's when the Beatles were coming over and Ed Sullivan and show and all that right. stuff. Right. But uh, it, was, it, was, uh, it, was, it was a good thing because, we, you know, it, it broke up and it let people think. You know, music is a, 
It's a universal thing. It's yes, I think it's like one of the language. highest communications other than painting or, or poetry or any of that. Yes. You know, I mean it's you know, you put a you you put some music on and there's an animal going nuts, he'll he'll like you know, you get him in control. Yes. You know, music calms a savage beast. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know? Uh-huh. Music brings people together, you know. Absolutely. We are the world. That was one of the biggest uh -huh. uh, that Love proved that. Song. Yes. You know? Yes. Now, in terms of like your upcoming events, what you're working on now, mm -hmm. can we talk about that? Sure, sure. I'm uh, doing a, a new CD. It'll be out uh, probably the end of this year. Um, it's an Austrian label. They're called uh, Zoho Music. They're from Austria. Mm -hmm. And they really believe in me. And uh, they let me do projects that I really pick, that I'm into. So uh, the first project I did with them was, uh, you're familiar with J.J. Kell? J.J. Kell? He I wrote that song called After Midnight. Oh, Wait you got to keep singing. Now, no. you see, you see, okay. I, didn't, I didn't dare to ask you, can you sing for me, Mr. Power? But now that you did it, no, I'm not going to be keep... doing that, but I did. I did. I, anyway, J.J. Kell, was, we put out a, uh, a tribute to him. It's a two-album set. The Persuasions is a, it's a great uh, vocal group. They're uh -huh. like, the, the way I play is the way their vocals are. You know, they're, they're incredible. Uh -huh. And, they're, you know, they're pretty, pretty old. They're, they've been around for, like, forever, too. And there's uh, some, some groups from the South on there, some of the Southern rock bands. And uh, we did his best songs. One side is vocal. Uh -huh. And the second album is the same songs, but done instrumentally. Okay. You know, like so acoustics. there's yeah, acoustic, uh, electric. Right. You know, um, just like vocal, but not with words. Mm -hmm. You know, it's pretty. It's pretty interesting uh, record. And uh, so now, the second record they wanted me to do was they wanted me to do like a uh, classic rock boogie blues-ish sort of, you know, rock mm -hmm. and roll more, more rock and roll. Uh -huh. So I was into that because that's what I do anyway. Yes. You know? And uh, so that's what we're working on. Okay. And uh, I have some good people on there. I have uh, John Colleone. He's from the Les Paul Band. Mm -hmm. Plays up here at the Iridium. He plays keyboards. He's on there. I, uh, I have a New Orleans pianist. He's blind. He's Fabulous Incredible. cat. Man. His name is Henry Butler. Okay. Oh yeah, Henry Butler. Yeah, yeah. I read that. And on uh, website. Angel Rose is from. She's from Texas. She's a jazz singer. She's gospel. She's incredible. Uh -huh. She's incredible, and she co-writes some stuff with me too. You know. And then I have my band, uh, which is my drummer is from uh, Johnny Copeland Band, Shamika Copeland Band. His name is Barry Harrison. Uh -huh. And uh, I have. Uh, Billy Christiani is my, my band bassist. He helps arrange things. And uh, Danny Lane, he's another slide guitar player, plays in my group. And he's on there. And also, who else is on there? So many well, people. But you have a lot of them. Yeah. You collaborate oh, with a lot of different my people. My best friend, Rick, uh, Rick Derringer's bass player, Charlie Torres. Uh huh. He's on there. And also, from England, I have a drummer. His name is uh, Neil Burton. Okay. This is incredible. Incredible. Yeah, he's like Mitch Mitchell's, you know, from the Hendrix band, but wow. in his own way, he's his own style. Very jazzy. And quick. Very jazzy. I like that very, word. Very quick, you know. Very quick. Yeah. Pretty, too. El Elton Jonish. Oh, I love Elton John. <laughs> Isn't he a genius? He's, oh, man. Isn't he a genius? He was amazing. Uh, and, and how often, let's say, do you uh, audition like new, I don't know, new musicians? If you like somebody that you. I don't know, somebody new. Well, do you go I, I, don't, to? I don't know addition to anybody. You don't? I meet people. Okay. And I know people. So, okay. Uh, for instance, there was there's this harmonica player that usually plays at the club where I'm at. He might even be playing tonight, opening up for me. I'm not sure. But his name is Steve Geiger. He's like the Jimi Hendrix on harp. This guy is incredible. He's from Trenton. And uh, he, has, he has his own band also. But he, he's very authentic in his sound. You know, he, he's, not, he's not electrified. He's, he's very muddy. Right. Muddy waters, uh, you know, he, he understands how to play a harmonica. He just doesn't blow notes. 
I mean, he can make it talk. But you, you see, you're throwing me off with mm -hmm. all these terms, musical terms. What do you mean? Oh, bro, I, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm a student. You uh -huh. see, this is, I told you okay. right, I, I, right from the beginning. I'll keep it simple. The conversation, you gotta keep, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep it simple for me because you, I hear these words and I get lost in translation. But, but I, this, is, this is not an audition. This, this is how I get to play with people and they get to play with me. Uh -huh. I, I see him playing and, I, and then while he's packing his stuff, I asked him, do you want to come up and do a song with me? And that's how we get to be friends. Nice. And now we're going to do an album together. Oh, beautiful. You know, you really see? authentic blues. Beautiful. How do you make the blues your own style? How, how do you make that transition? Well, well uh, everybody that plays has their own style. Uh -huh. You know, unless you're a copycat and you're doing tributes. Right. You know, but... Uh, Safe but how you make it your own? It's like you know how. Well, I do don't you try to play happen? it note for note. I I don't try to play it note for note. I tr I try to look at it as if I created it. Okay. But after listening to, say, if I'm listening to Muddy Waters' song, Muddy's stuff, nobody can play like that, you know. But you could play his song. Right. So now it is your it's your own way. Yeah. Because there's only one Muddy. There's yes. only one Jimmy. There's only one Eddie Durham, you know. Right. There's only one you. There's only one me. There's only one you. No, no, no. Forget about me. It's well, about you. Look at how good you look in front of that camera. You see that? That's all right. The white the, No, no, no. What do you mean? It's all right. It's about you. The show's about you. Nah. No, forget about me. Let's <laughs> jump to him. Yeah, you see that? The cane? The personality? I was a little afraid when I saw you right when you came by. I said, "Oh god." Oh my God! How am I gonna talk to this man? <laughs> you know, because you get, you know, you get a little overwhelmed. You know, you are an artist. You, this is what you do. You're a professional. Just I'm a, a professional, I guess. Not like you, different fields. But hey, we're making the connection. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's right? true. That's true. I wish, you know, when I see somebody as gifted, you know, with the songs and the instruments, I wish I had that gift for mm. music. It's not my gift. Well, and, oh. did you ever try it? Well, yeah. I bought not try. Have five minutes left? This is not fair. No you way. See? This is not. I.